हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल कोड कंप्लीट द स्पिरिट ऑफ कोडिंग टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न एंड अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द टेक्स्ट क्लिपिंग मास्क इन एडोबी इलस्ट्रेटर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट एंड एडिट टेक्स्ट क्लिपिंग मास्क टू क्रिएट अ टेक्स्ट क्लिपिंग मास्क इन एडोबी इलस्ट्रेटर फर्स्ट वी नीड टू इम्पोर्ट एन इमेज ऑन द वर्क स्पेस you can import an image by dragging and dropping an image file on the workspace or go to the menu bar and select file option and click on place in place dialog box navigate to the folder and highlight the image you want to import now click on place button next we will open layers panel the layers panel is usually located on the right hand side of the work area if it is not visible go to the menu bar select window option and click layers to open it as we can see that in layers panel by default a new layer called layer 1 is automatically created as we have imported the image to an artboard a sub layer named image with the artwork is also added under the layer 1 now go to tools panel select type tool and type out the word or phrase in bold style on the artboard here i choose the font myriad pro but you can prefer any font of your choice to look for fonts you can type the font name in font family drop down in character panel in this scenario the text is a clipping path as we can see that in layers panel text sub layer is created it is important to note that clipping path and artwork should be under the same layer group so in this case the pebble sub layer which is a clipping path and the image which is the artwork is under the same layer group that is layer 1 next move the text directly over the artwork and adjust it to cover the area of the art which is going to be marked. finally we will select both the objects that is text and image after selecting both the objects right click on the mouse select make clipping mask it is important to note that we didn't convert the text into outlines yet that's why at this point we can't edit the shape of the text secondly after making the clipping mask we can add more text to clipping mask if we add the text to it by selecting the type tool from the tools panel then the added text automatically gets converted into clipping mask next we convert the text into outlines to convert the text into outlines go to the menu bar click object and select expand alternatively go to type and click create outlines from the menu by doing so the text will become outlined and each letter has now become an object that can be edited but not like a regular text now as you can see the line beneath the text has gone the text characters now have editable parts or outline around them they are no longer text but vector graphics now can be moved and edited individually with the help of direct selection tool next we will select the clipping set and try to edit it there are multiple ways to edit the clipping set and one of them is in property bar on left there are two icons one is edit clipping path icon to edit clipping path and second is edit content icon to edit artwork now select the content icon to edit the artwork as we click on content icon the artwork enters in isolation mode 
and in isolation mode we can move and adjust our artwork same way we can edit the clipping path by selecting the clipping path icon and clipping path enters in isolation mode and by selecting the direct selection tool all anchor points appears on each letter we can change the border of the characters into rounded shapes that's all for this video if you have any query ask in comment section below if you like this video please give thumbs up and for latest update subscribe to my channel